two peanuts walking down the street. One was assaulted. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> that one from Lincoln Motter. And don't forget, comment your jokes down below. Don't know what the hands are doing there either. <laughs> right, so today I just want to tell you about an app that I think everybody should have, whether it's Fire Stick, Android Boxes, mobile phones, any device, I think this app is possibly needed. Especially if you use third-party apps for like your movies and TV shows, live TV and things like that. Especially if you use your device for movie and TV shows, live TV, any third-party app really. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so first of all, I'm going to show you the app, which I think you should have on your device, and then I'll show you how you can install it, where you can install it from, and things like that, if it applies to you. <sighs> Ran out of breath then? Wowzers, lungs are going. <laughs> right, so first of all, I'm going to show you the app that I think you should have. And the reason you need this app, in my opinion, is because there's a, that many third-party apps flying around at the moment for your movies, TV shows, live TV, all that kind of stuff. You don't know who's actually developing that app. So you don't know what they are putting into it, which could harm your device. It could be full of adware. So ad ads are popping up everywhere and shit like that. So it's important to know that the apps you're installing are actually safe. You will find a lot of people who have file link stores or websites with downloads on. If they do it properly, they will probably check the files to see if they are harmful to start with, which should make it like, well, you don't have to, but... Stuff like this can be missed, so you want to make sure the apps you've got installed on your device are safe and they haven't got no viruses inside. Right, so if I go to my applications by going to Settings, Applications, and Manage Installed, and like I said as well, this is going to work on any device, not just Fire Stick. I'm just using this as an example. I've installed loads of different apps onto it that are third-party, just as an example. When I scroll down to the bottom, you are going to see Virus Total. And like I said, I'll show you where you can get it and how to install it and all that kind of stuff after if it is relevant to you. And if not, you can just click off the video like you do. <laughs> so if I click on Virus Total, like I say, it does say for mobile, but it does work on normal devices like a Fire Stick Android box. And if I click on the Enter button, it's going to scan all the applications I've got installed on my device. And then once it's finished, it does come up with com .funny cat, virus total. It doesn't come up with this if you do have Google on your device. But on Fire Stick, obviously, we don't have the Play Store or anything, so it will say that. We'll click OK. And now it's scanned our whole device for all the apps we have to see if there's any with any threats and if it's detected any at all. And what you're going to see, a lot I've been talking about this app, Fop TV and... A lot have been saying it is unsafe, which it is, as you can see there. So if I do click on this, you're going to see it's it's just basically saying, whoa, whoa, don't use this, get it deleted now. You can see on the right-hand side, there shouldn't be any red writing, really. But there's actually nine that have been detected. And look, it's just got a lot of shit on there that basically if it's red, it's probably bad. Adware is one of them. You've got Program. I don't know. If anybody knows what these Trojans are or these viruses, do comment down below in the comments section because I have tried searching them as well and I can't really find out too much about each one. So I'd like to educate myself about this as well. But if you do keep scrolling down, you will see where it says clean. So all this is clean. It's not flagged up. But there's a lot detected on that. So if you are using Fop TV, make sure you delete it from your device now. If I go back, you're going to see Morphix TV. And this was the previous update before the most recent update. And when I click on this, you're going to see it's come up with two Trojans. And Trojans are seen as viruses. But one problem you can have is they do call them false positives, I believe. So some things may flag up with red writing and say it's a virus or a Trojan. But it may not be harmful at all. But Virus Total is giving us a green tick on this one saying it's not harmful, but the only thing I've seen on this paw is the top one, which was actually in the Fop TV one as well. I haven't seen it inside any other app, so the iCarus or whatever it says there, 
I've only seen that inside Thop TV and Morphix TV. If I go down, you have got a lot in, the, even BBC iPlay is saying it's got a Trojan inside, which we're guessing it's not got a Trojan inside, so that's what we could class as a false positive. And then you've got Cat Mouse there, Trust Look. They've all, like a lot of them, have got this Trust Look inside, but it's not saying it's a Trojan, we're guessing it's not a virus, and it is Virus Total's telling us it's a safe app to use on his device. The only one it is saying could be like very harmful is Thop TV. And with Morphix TV, I did do the update inside of the app and I came to check it again and the top one had gone and only one was detected, which was the nano antivirus. So I'm guessing it's being removed now and it is safe to use. So like I say, it may not appeal to all of you, but... I think it's definitely something you should look at having on your device to make sure any apps that you are using are actually safe and they're not harmful and they're going to cause you shit on your device. So now we'll show you where you can get it, how to install it, and then comment down below. If you do detect anything on your device, comment which apps are harmful down below. So it'll be handy for me and other viewers to be able to see which apps may be harmful and may be like, shit. That needs deleting. <laughs> and right, so if you are on the Fire Stick, you're going to want Downloader. I'm guessing you've already got Downloader if you've already installed third-party apps onto there. And if you're using a mobile phone or an Android box or something like that, you're just going to open the normal web browser. So once you're inside your web browser or Downloader, you're going to enter this URL exact as I type it now. So let's crack on .org is the website that you want to visit. So if you need to pause the video, pause it now, and then I'm going to click on go. And like I said, if you're on a web browser, you're going to see it as a website. And if you're on downloader, this is what it will show like now. So you're going to go to the menu, the three line button hamburger menu, whatever you want to call it. And then what you're going to do, you're going to go to downloads. Get a few moments just to load the page up. And then what we're going to do, we're going to scroll down and you're going to see useful tools and essentials. So we're going to scroll down to V because they're in alphabetical order because I like to make it easier for you. And it also makes it easier for me when I'm updating. <laughs> Click on Virus Total. The page may change because I am doing updates on the website. It may take you through to another page with a bit of information about it. But at the moment, it's just going to take you to this page. It just counts down a few seconds. And once it's finished, it'll start downloading. So once that countdown gets countdown, <laughs> so once that countdown gets to zero seconds, it's going to start downloading. Then you can install. Get a few moments, and then once it's installed, it's going to say done or open. We are going to click on done, and then make sure you delete and delete again. This is important. You want to save storage on your device. If you do forget to delete the file, you're going to see it say files on the left hand side, and they all store inside of here. So long hold the enter button and delete, and that'll delete the installation file. They are no longer needed. And then if we go back into his applications, I'll go the same way as we went before. Manage installed. You're going to scroll down, and when you get to V, you're going to see you've got Virus Total Mobile. Launch that application. It's going to come up like that. Click the enter button. It's going to start scanning. And then once again, it's going to let you know which apps are harmful on your device and what kind of Trojans, viruses, adware that it detects. But not all third-party apps detect anything, to be honest, because you've got B uh, B B B <laughs> BTV, Cinema HD, Exusia, HDTV Ultimate, Ultimate, in it, yeah, not unlimited, Mr. Zip. You can see there's nothing detected inside of these. But just make sure you check and make sure it's got a tick next to it. Woo! Finished, finished. Thank God for that. <laughs> but like I said, this video might not apply to a lot of people. But I think safety on your device now is quite a big thing. So having an app installed on your device to make sure that there's no viruses and trojans and things inside them is quite handy to have. And like I said, if you do test your device, comment down below if you get any red crosses through Virus Total, and let us know the names of the apps. So if this video did help you, don't forget to hit that like with the BMR. <laughs> so if this video did help you, don't forget to hit that like button. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Ta-da!